told you I was getting bites. All right, fish on. Fish on, guys. I think he's swimming right at me. Oh, yeah. Thanks. I'll check that out. All right, guys, what is going on? It is Kavari Tech Media. Welcome back to the channel, guys. And we are back out today. We are at the Fort Pickens area here on the Gulf Islands National Seashore. Got my lovely wife, Taylor, and we are once again, we're gonna go do some beach fishing today, guys. We're actually way more prepared than what we were last time. Uh, just went to Publix. We got some fresh, dead, peeled shrimp. So we got that. We also got, as always, we got the live sand flea rake and we got some fish gum. So we got a multitude of different baits that we're going to attempt to try out. And we're out here and we're gonna have plans on hopefully being out here all day long, man. So we got hours and hours of quality beach fishing. We got not a cloud in the sky, as you guys can see. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be a good day, guys. We got the pier cart all loaded down right here and uh that's actually like packed packed down that thing's gonna be kind of a pain dragging through the sand i definitely got to get some better wheels for uh if we're going to be doing more beach fishing here in the future but yeah guys it's going to be a great day on the water i'm going to bring you all with me and uh, we're going to try to go catch some some fish out there so let's go ahead and stop talking let's get this stuff on the beach let's get some lines out and let's catch some fish guys all right guys so right now we're actually making our way to the beach and this is a really pretty walk man look you got all these all this plant life around and this nice like boardwalk that we're just cruising along definitely makes pulling the pier cart 10 times easier than pulling it through sand so yeah we're about probably a one fourth of a mile walk but like i said using this boardwalk this is nothing got some nice live oak trees all right guys y'all check out this beach real estate that we just got man not a lot of people of course we got some people walking right there but and a couple more people down there but other than that got us a nice clear area to surf fish at so what we're using as bait today y'all watch the last I believe I might post another video here soon, but my last beach fishing video, I was using peeled dead shrimp with fish gum. And that's exactly what we're using today, guys. We're just using fish gum. Uh, I believe this is the blazing orange with peeled dead shrimp. Got this on both floaters. And we're gonna just cast this out. I actually set up right in front of a nice sandbar so that I can walk out and cast. So that's what we're, we're about to do. We're, we're about to bait up all three poles and then we're gonna go ahead and walk out and start casting these things. Let's get it guys, let's get it. Let's catch some pompano, man. We're on folks, first fish of the day. First fish of the day. Oh, I think he's swimming right at me. Oh, did he come on? I don't know if he's still on or not guys. He might have came on. No, he's still on. I think it's a pump, guys. Oh yeah, pop it up, baby. Oh yeah. Thanks. I'll check that out. Woo! First pump of the day right there, guys. Y'all check him out. Beautiful pompano. And if y'all watched the last surf fishing video, almost, I think two out of the three pompano uh, we caught were on these, these green floaters. So I'm not sure what it is, but that green color seems to be doing this trick lately. First fish of the day though, guys. Beautiful Florida pompano right there, man. Definitely, uh, definitely legal. But man, whenever these things hit and your rod starts going over like that that will get your heart racing but targeted species right there let's throw him inside of the cooler let's catch some more guys that right there is a gorgeous florida pompano some of the funnest fish you catch here on the gulf coast every single spring come out here get you some surf tackle and that's what you can catch guys I'm actually walking backwards and 
keeping an eye on these rod and reels because typically these things run in school. So if you catch one, they're never alone. So definitely trying to keep an eye on my other rod and reels as it's running around. And he is almost 12 inches to the fork. So first legal pompano of the day. Let's go ahead and put him in the cooler. Let's get some more lines out, guys. Woo. Off. All right, guys, we just had our second hit of the day. Ah, it sucks, man. We had a pretty good bite. Definitely a pompano bite, but unfortunately, didn't get it, did not get a good hook set on him. Dang it, yeah, he came off, guys. Oh, well, all right, we're going to get our baits hooked back up and we're gonna get some more more lines out that was actually on the sand for me but I told you I was getting bites all right fish on fish on guys I had a good bite about oh he's swimming right at us I had a really good bite guys probably about two or three minutes ago he did not get hooked so I sat here and he came back for it Huh? There we go. It's definitely a pompano, I feel like. Definitely a pompano. Told you. All right. There he is. Oh, yeah. Pompano. That's a good one. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys, like I said, the second fish of the day is a nice pompano. He, he hit it the first time, but he didn't commit. So we had to wait about a, an, another one to two minutes. And he finally came back, man, but beautiful pompano. Let's go ahead and bring him down here and get him measured up. <laughs> yep, he is 11 and a half almost to the fort. 11 and a half to the fort. Boom. Second keeper, man. All right, guys. Whenever I said me and Taylor came out here and we are way more prepared, this is what I meant. We got food out here, guys. We got food, drinks, all different types of stuff, man. If y'all are going to come out to the beach, it's one thing that you got to have. You got to have snacks and you got to have drinks, man. We've been out here for probably about four hours now. And uh, tell y'all what, if we didn't have some snacks and drinks we would definitely not be out here this late but so far man it's been a good day guys really good day there were some people that were right next to us that caught two pompano as well we had just caught our second but we missed a couple others fish number three guys we hooked up it was like another pompano man This, this pole doubled over, man. This is a good pump, and I'm telling you. It's really good. Oh, yeah. That's a good pump, Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a good pompano right there. Holy cow. Ah, there's your dinner. Right. Oh, yeah. That's probably the biggest one of the day. All right. For sure. Wow, pretty cool. Woo. Check him out, man. Awesome. Beautiful. Boy. Definitely a dinner, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a dinner. Hey, congrats. Thank you. This one came off with a peeled shrimp, guys, once again. Peeled shrimp. That's what all of our pompano have been caught on today. Beautiful. Good. Yeah, this one's definitely going to be the biggest one of the day. Yeah, he's 13 and a half, or 13 and a half to the fork. 13 and a half. Actually, hold on. 13. A little bit over 13 inches to the fork, guys. Definitely the biggest pompano of the day right there, man. 
beautiful, beautiful fish. All right, let's go ahead and put him in the cooler and we're gonna throw this line back out. I think the bite is starting to pick up, guys.